right guys, so we made it to Champ Sports and I wanted to check out the sneakers that they had in stock. I wanted to see if they had any of the Oreo Ultra Boost in stock. I know that uh, some stores will be getting them here and there and I checked the launch locator for Foot Locker, so I'll get to that part of the video towards the second half, but I'm just kind of browsing around the store and checking out the sneakers that they have. I have actually not seen these ones in person, but they do have the fold over tongues, which actually I didn't know. You can't really tell from the images, which is similar to the Pure Boost, um, how they have that flap tongue, which I'm not sure how I feel about it quite yet. But you can see they had the 2.0 Ultra Boost, which is odd as well. They didn't have the 3.0s, and uh, then some random tubulars. I believe these are the women's section. So the rose gold joints right here. Actually, I got these for a, a girlfriend of mine, not girlfriend, but friend that is a girl at my work. And I got it for, for 20 bucks, which was pretty crazy for those. Definitely a nice price for those ones. But looking at, through the store, they have some more of these. I like that colorway personally. And that mint colorway is kind of nice as well for the women's colorways. And then moving on over, you can see the sock darts. And I was kind of interested in how they were setting up this store because it was a brand new store. And I thought they'd have a, like, a lot more things going on than what they actually did. But all in all, it was a decent store. And these altered... Um, fast trains or what a train fast or whatever these ones are called look at the uh, fly wire on those things how they're woven together like that like a spider web definitely supposed to strengthen the shoe supposed to be uh, kind of like beneficial for those that use it for training this is a sneaker that actually or boot that i actually um it, it's been trashed a lot but i've never seen it in person and it's actually like way like nicer than i thought it was actually i have to say it's heavy duty um and i thought it would be a lot more flimsy than it was it's definitely Decent. It's just not fashionable in my opinion, though, at least from my my personal taste. So it's not something I would rock. Uh, looking at back through the back wall, and this is the stuff they had the back wall. I was like, why do they have this on the back wall here? This is butter, though. These ones are really nice in this kind of Cyber Monday-ish sort of vibe. And the bone colorway was really nice too, with the suede toe caps on both of them. But those things are sleepers, man. You can get them on Nike.com for super cheap right now, and a lot of these things are sleepers. Remember when these type of sneakers um, were like selling out at $200 and resale was like kind of on this style of model? I don't remember which one specifically, but it seems like these ones are all sitting now too. But that one was another another one that I was just never on. Um, those ones were just kind of odd to me. Prestos and Sock Darts, something I've always been a fan of. And uh, I'll continue to be a fan of them even if they sit in the malls. Anyway, some looks at some Tech Knit not tech knit, tech fleece pants and hoodies that they had in stock. And uh, that's kind of that. And then this kind of wild, crazy jacket with the Nike swoosh on it was kind of fun. And then I wanted to knock that little blow up ball out, but that would have been bad. Anyway, I did see somebody, uh, and shout out to the employee at Champs that actually recognized me. He had the Oreo Ultra Boost on, and that was the only look of those that I actually got. So kind of sucks because they didn't have them in stock, but it was something that I was looking for. And, uh, and they just didn't have them in stock. They didn't get very many at this Champs, but they actually did get them, and it was just kind of silent. They didn't, nobody really knew about it, and um, so that's kind of the way that one went down. That's pretty much the only men's boost they had was those um, XR1s, which is funny because the XR1s are always sitting. Then they have these, which these are um, just an amazing basketball shoe, in my opinion, the Wiggins joints there. And um, I have, you know, the, the red colorway that I kept and then I gave away. Uh, the other colorway that had the other Wiggins one um, to one of my Collective Kicks riders. But definitely a dope shoe. Really, really solid basketball shoe. And just kind of browsing through, man. Just looking to see what they have in stock. They had some Curries on sale there. And 130 is actually pretty steep. You can get them online for 20% off of that, I think, even. Uh, and I do have a Lux pair. These ones I thought were interesting. I've never seen these ones. $110 and check out the Visible Zoom Air on the bottom. Kind of fun to see that. Uh, most people probably will look past it, but I like I like Visible Zoom Air. It's kind of like a stuff that was dope to me before Lunar Lawn and then before Boost. But uh, but Nike definitely needs to come up with something to rival the Boost technology. Lunar Lawn's not it anymore. And um, yeah, I gotta figure something out. And just kind of browsing through. So this is like the basketball section towards the front of the store. And you can see they had quite a few things in stock. Lots of KDs, lots of Kyries. Lola just came in the room snorting up a crap, like just crazy, these dogs, man. Trying to record videos is so difficult in my house. There's dogs, babies, wife, and machines going the whole time. It's just craziness. But um, these were in stock, though. I was surprised. They, they had a lot of these, and these didn't sell out online either. I think the main reason why is because there was just a such a huge 
release of these they did not have them limited and because of that like it just it is what it is but it's a super clean colorway it's definitely one that is on my radar um and then they had these ones which i do have champ sports actually uh gifted me this pair which is decent but the quality is not as good the 13s are actually really really nice though and then they had these uh 12 lows another one that nobody really picked up at least not a lot of people and then even the kobe joints or if they had kobe's name on those shoes they probably would have sold more but it was kind of a inspired colorway that it was just never really officially named after Kobe. Otherwise, it was probably would have done something. And um, probably one of the biggest sleepers out right now. You can get these for a buck twenty online. I'll, I'll leave a link in the description if you guys are interested for those ones. And uh, definitely, definitely love those Cyber Threes. But on my way over to the other joint, and you can see I'm just kind of speeding through the mall and checking out the Foot Locker, as you can see right here. So the Foot Locker. Is definitely a fun one this is one that um, I really like the people that are there now I swear I did a video on like how people were just not very nice at this footlocker a long time ago and since then it's like every single time I walk in people are asking me and just even if they don't know me obviously but just they're asking people if they're doing well or not or if they need any assistance and stuff I just thought it was pretty cool uh, to see that these are sleepers as well man the threes and the wool and then they can get them on sale for right now. You can get them for cheaper than retail. And then these ones also, the 16s in this colorway, is super fresh. But the price point was like 250 or something. This is another one I'm surprised actually sat. But honestly, it's just too similar to the other colorways. It's just a little darker blue. And you can see the 13s again, 15s in stock here. And this back section was definitely different. It's not as rubberized. It's more plasticky than the pair that I have. Um, in the the black colorway, or I, th I think that actually might be the same colorways that I have. Aw, oh, snap, we got the breads. Uh, nah, they, these ones are obviously not the breads that people want, but they have the Westbrooks. And um, I, haven't, I actually haven't seen these CP3s in hand before either, so I was just digging them and checking them out, seeing how they look. They look okay, honestly, not one of my favorite um, designs. And just kind of seeing what else they have in stock for the Jordans right here. Moving on to the back wall, and you can see some of the nike basketball stuff they have a really dope display here though but just uh and they actually have quite a few sneakers but it's just crazy like how many things are still in stock i think these ad's were cool to some people but then when you look at it up close and it says zoom and it's not zoom it's like plastic on the back part it's just kind of messed up man it, you can't see the zoom but it makes it look like you can see it so it's kind of tricky and not a big um hit on consumers it looks like i don't even remember this color coming this colorway coming out it's pretty nice, but uh, I really like my uh, Nike ID, like Kobe that I did, but it is what it is. Like, they're they're not probably going to sell, like, a signature Kobe line because um, of him retiring, I think. And I'm not sure who in the NBA, you guys would probably know, but who in the NBA may be, like, rocking his new sneaker. I don't know if he has, like, an endorsement for it. These ones are, like, the cranberry joints or whatever, and uh, the KDs, and they look decent in, in person. I was actually kind of impressed with the colors and, and the materials. One of the better looking um, KD colorways to come out. But I still like my Homer Simpson colorway more of. And then the basketball section, more of the lifestyle stuff. They had some of these in stock. I was like, man, okay. Like, that was one colorway I don't have that I still think is really, really fresh with that um, gum soles on it. That would be actually a really nice pair to customize, I think. And these are really butter. And the bottoms of these... This is exactly like um, a pair that I have on my sneaker wall at the very top, if you guys have ever seen it. And it's just an old technology that I had back in like 97, 90, 96 or something like that, 97. Surprised that they had these in stock. Uh, honestly, there was a bigger size in my hand, so I figured uh, most of the sizes were sold out, but they still had a couple in stock. Definitely not feeling those ones, though. I know it's like a lot of hype on them right now, but it's one that i just not feeling. I'd rather have these, honestly. These, these penny joints right here are pretty fresh. But... Um, just this is like kind of the back section. It's all Nike. They have a ton of stuff. These I can't believe they retroed again. The last time they went to discount for like seventy bucks, but it's definitely one of my favorite pairs of sneakers um, that's uh, like I own because I have the OGs and then one of the last retros. So this is me kind of looking around the front of the store, and I could see the Lunar Epics right here. Into my mind, they're the Lunar Fails. Just not the sizing on them was was off, and it was a fail on my end more or less. They're decent sneakers, but. I mean, it's it's pretty much if you have a Presto, if you have a Sock Dart, you have a Lunar Epic. It's kind of the same sort of line, just a little bit more snug fitting, uh, in my opinion. But decent looking, aesthetic, uh, aesthetically looking shoe. Looking at some of the Nike fly knits over there. And then 
So this was pretty much the moment of truth. Would I find some Ultra Boost? And this was the closest thing I could get, which is not close at all. Uh, this, these are the hardened ones. And actually, you guys have been bugging me to remove the, the toe cap off of my hardened one. So I might actually do that in one of um, the future videos. Maybe not in the colorway I have, but in a different colorway that I hope to be getting. But looked for Adidas Ultra Boost. They did not have them in stock. Talk to the staff. Shout out to the staff for being, again, real helpful and friendly. And they said that they didn't get them in stock yet. They were supposed to because the launch locator on Foot, Lock Foot Locker's website said that they got them, but they actually did not get them yet. Um, but they are expecting them later, maybe this week. So hopefully I will be able to secure a pair. The Oreo colorway, in my opinion, is just one of the freshest ones on the market for the Ultra Boost. And even if it was available every single store, it would be a colorway that I would definitely cop just because I really, really like the overall look of that shoe. This is kind of a look at the Jordan stuff up here, but this is pretty much towards the end of the video of the trip. Uh, hopefully I'll be able to come up on a pair later, but hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh, I'll leave you guys with a couple little extra things. I can't believe they had this here though. The Horizon uh, Low and why they had it in its own little call out area was weird. But anyway, peace guys. So what are the extras that we got? We got this, this, and this. We always get this for the baby though. Baby, midnight recovery. Butter stick. And then what are these My things? Leapies. And then this is all the stuff that she gave us for free. Another one of the loose things. Whole thing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Lots of stuff.